This will be one of my first uh, attempts at these videos for Allen Bradley PLC parts um, showing various testing procedures. Uh, one of the things that's been asked by a few customers over the years is how do you upgrade the firmware in an Allen Bradley PLC5 processor? It's nowhere near as easy as doing it with the new Control Logics or even some of the uh, Slick 500 processors. There's a fair number of steps in it and there's a fair number of requirements. On my right hand side here is my old 32-bit XP laptop. It has serial converter on it which takes us up to the processor and I've got it tied into Ethernet but we don't need the Ethernet because we're not going to be using it at this point. Now if we look at this screen here which is the 64-bit operating system you can see on the data highway plus which is blue hose here that we have this processor station 31 540e now this is a series a revision revision e series a processor what we want to do is flash the firmware in it to make it it's still series e but firmware f so that we can communicate with control logic processors down the line which is what this customer wants to do so like I say there's a fair number of steps we'll start out by unplugging the data highway the battery is removed and the only thing on it is the RS-232 this is a requirement of running the old uh, control flash software for this system so what I'm going to do now is I'll stop, I'll change lenses so that we can zoom in here and like I say there's a number of steps and it is not that easy so this could end up be a fairly long video but I'll try and edit it down when the time comes. So back in a minute. Okay we're back. Now as you can see there is nothing but the uh, old laptop, 32-bit laptop in there. Uh, you see my hands on occasion but that's about it. So we start out, we open up Control Flash. Now this is Control Flash version 4.09. This is this version is only for flashing processors. If you happen to come across it somewhere, you will find you will get a firmware upgrade kit. I'm not sure, hopefully that's in focus. Yeah. Um, this firmware kit that you used to be able to get from Allen Bradley or Rockwell contains three and a half inch discs and it contains one to three EEPROMs in it and that you have to use them all. We'll get into the EEPROM part later. So anyhow we open it up and because the requirements are only RS-232, no battery, no other connections, and on the computer you're running you must have RS links turned off and only this program running. So we go into next, so enter the catalog number of the target device, in this case it's a 1785L40E and we're using in this particular case COM2 now this is where you test your communications and it says as you may hopefully can see there 1785L40E Series E Rev A and it is in mode is remote program load so now we go next and in this particular case show all. I've got, I was able to find the disks for both series K, er, revision K and revision J. Now seeing as we're going from an A, we'll go to K first. Just, it doesn't take this, it takes a few minutes to do all this, but hit next and according to this and when you find it, the documentation it says it could take up to and including 13 minutes. 
Now this video isn't going to be 13 minutes of this thing going back and forth, but once it gets going, once I get into editing, I'll take and uh, compress everything. So, well the other thing is, the processor and the computer are both on a UPS. Never attempt this on straight mill power, house power, whatever you're using. Have a UPS. The slightest blip, the processor will fault and turn into a brick and you've got a doorstop. So make damn sure that you've got a UPS and a good, well-tested, high-quality UPS. So we hit finish. This is always the scary part. Sure you want to begin? Just say yes. So it Okay, we're now at the point, after that, that flash, if, when you, you go to the manual, we are at step 3, G is in George. Now, since we're going from series A to series F, we have to replace the PROM in the communication port on the communication card. It's either U7 or U12 if applicable. So now I'm going to uh, stop the, uh, the video, um, pull the processor out, get ready for that step and we'll come back. Um, do not turn off your laptop or your computer that you're doing the download with. Only power down the processor. Do not power it up until you have got the prong changed, which is our next step. So, here we go. And turn the video off for a minute while I get set up. Okay, we're back for a bit here. Um, so here's step number four. It's called install the new firmware EEPROM if applicable. Now, as soon as we're going from A to F, yes, it's applicable. It sounds real easy if you say it quick. So, Take the piece of paper away because it shows us what we have to do. We have to open up the processor, pull out this COM card, and that COM card, hopefully we can see it here. here there's the front of the processor. That COM card, you see those two little LEDs here and here, and this screw here, is behind this plate. Now to get at it, We have to, and again, this is a, this, we started out with this processor, 40E Rev B, Series E Firmware A from 1997. Okay, so I'm gonna, so I don't drop this, put it down, and we'll go back down like this. And I'll grab my screwdrivers and everything we need and be right back. <laughs> 